This decision was not even reported when it was handed down, and yet it's now regarded as an important decision for two completely different aspects of the rules relating to client confidentiality. The facts in brief were that two companies, Young Hands and Elders, through its finance company Elphic, had been cooperating in a land development venture. The major law firm, Cause Chambers Westgarth, was engaged as the legal representative for the project. Sadly, the two sides of the project fell into a dispute, and both sides of the dispute wanted the advice of Cause Chambers Westgarth. Cause responded by implementing what is known as a Chinese wall or an information barrier between two completely separate teams within their very large law firm. The idea was that neither team would know what the other was doing, so each client's confidential information would be protected. Young Hands were unhappy with this arrangement because they said there was still a real possibility of their confidential information being used for the benefit of Elphic. The court agreed. Justice Gillard said, The Great Wall of China is the most famous boundary in the world, and as an impenetrable line, it was a dismal flop. Because of the substantial contact that Mr. Junghans and his group has had over many years with the firm, I think the more apt description to describe the suggested arrangements is a Dutch dike, a good barrier to water, but involving the ever-present risk of seepage leading to a leak. In my opinion, the risk of seepage of information within this firm is high. It follows that sometimes a Chinese wall will not be enough to protect client confidentiality if there is a real risk of information leaking out, even inadvertently. A second issue related to the nature of confidential information. The argument was made, and Justice Gillard agreed, that sometimes confidential information went beyond documentary and spoken information. Justice Gillard said, The relationship between solicitor and client may be such that the solicitor learns a great deal about his client, his strengths, his weaknesses, his honesty or lack thereof, his reaction to crisis, pressure or tension, his attitude to litigation and settling cases and his tactics. These are factors which I would call the getting-to-know-you factors. This case teaches us that where there are getting-to-know-you factors, those are confidential information which must also be protected. Music